Why is dating and avoidance so hard? Why are they so difficult to deal with? They can feel very slippery. Some days they make you feel loved and other days it feels like they don't give two shits about you. Dating them can be an emotionally roller coaster, and if you don't know what you're doing, then they can really hurt you. They can create an intense feeling of insecurity and like you're not enough. Here are six rules to take back control from the avoidant and give your power back to you. Number one, always let them come to you. When you're dating an avoidant, there will eventually come a time when they will go no contact. They will occasionally distance themselves from you and disappear for days without any proper explanation. In a situation like this, don't try to reach out to them. You should always let them come to you. Now, I'm not saying you should go no contact and stop replying. You should just let them contact you first. Give them the space that they're so desperate for. I want you to understand that they are not gone forever. Avoidance feel the urge to go on their own once in every while. Let them go away. After a while, they will always come back to you. Number two, don't try to win them at their own game. Now I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video, you're in love with the avoidant. Well, guess what? If you're trying to go no contact with the person you're in love with, it's going to be very hard for you to do that. No contact is the avoidance game. You're not gonna beat them at their own game. Don't try to use it. You're more likely to end up hurting yourself even more. Number three, at one point they will break up with you. When avoidance says they want to break up, you should be happy because that's when you know the relationship now has an opportunity to go deeper. You can do everything right, but the avoidant will still want to end the relationship. If they say something like this, let them. Let them end it and walk away. Don't try to stop them. After a few weeks or even months, they're going to realize what they lost and they're going to come back to you. Now, the important part here is to accept them back with open arms. Unless they've done something stupid like flirt with other people or slept with others. If they haven't done anything that will hurt your relationship, then you can take them back with open arms. Now this might seem confusing and unconventional. And this is why you need to remember rule number four. Four, do not confuse avoidance with narcissists. Unlike narcissists, avoidance are not doing this to intentionally hurt you. They generally love you, they want to be with you, but their childhood issues and trauma run so deep, they can't help but run away from healthy relationships. They are triggered by your intimacy. If you have the compassion and more importantly, the emotional intelligence to understand this, then you can generally help them and turn the avoidant attachment into a secure attachment. Number five, enforce your standards. Now, avoidants have a tendency to make stupid decisions. They think they know what's best for them, but they usually end up regretting their actions. For example, they might flirt with other people despite being in a relationship with you. Or they might have been physical with another person while they were away. In a situation like this, you have to make it absolutely clear that you will not tolerate this type of behavior. You have to have clear standards for your partner and what you want in your life. If they do anything that goes against your values, then do not tolerate it. Have the courage to walk away. If you don't walk away, they will walk all over you. Number six, understand what you're getting yourself into. Loving and avoidant is not easy. You need to realize this. You cannot lose yourself trying to save them. You need to put yourself first. If being with them is bringing you more harm than good, if you find yourself feeling more anxious and insecure, then maybe it's best that you let them go. Remember, you come first. They're not in a position to receive your love, then there is nothing wrong with walking away.